Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to check out the Blend OS Genome Desktop. So let us start. This is the greater screen of the Genome Desktop of Blend OS. So on the top, you have got this uh, time and date. You have got the accessibility features and the power manager. Uh, network manager is there and the, you can even set the uh, power modes like balance power saver there are two modes available and you can set the dark and the light mode as well i think this only dark mode is working light mode is not there so you got uh, the dark mode by default so now let us log in let us check out the session manager so you got this Gnome Wayland session, Gnome Classic, Gnome Classic on Xorg and Gnome on Xorg. So we will go with the Wayland session. Input the password. First thing we will do is we will increase the resolution. So we had set the resolution during the install but it has not saved. So we will again set the resolution. Okay, so now we will head over. So we are greeted by the welcome screen. This is the welcome screen. So let us start with the welcome. So it is an immutable system as I told you earlier. So immutable means the file system is uh, read only. So you cannot uh, by mistake tinker with the file system and then mess up your system it will stay as it is as when it was installed and only the system will have privileges to edit the file system user has only privileges to install the packages so the on he can only tinker with the packages but he cannot uh, tinker with the underlying file system so here you can set the color scheme light or dark you could not set the color scheme during the login so the setting was there in the login screen but it was not operative here it is operating quite well so we will open the console as instructed so from here we can install the different uh, packages or applications as we all know you can install package packages or applications from Arch by default. You also got option to install packages for the Fedora, Ubuntu, uh, as LTS as well as the rolling release that is 22.04 and 22.10. So three additional options are there. And also you can install desktop from any of these uh, four uh, Linux distributions. So we will uh, go through this, we will install uh, desktop from one of the uh, operating systems. So all these additional three operating systems, we are implemented, implemented as a container. So whenever you install any application for each of this uh, additional three Linux distributions, they will be installed in the container. So they will be not installed on the Arch. So Arch is the base system and upon this base system, these three containers of Fedora, Fedora, then the Ubuntu and Ubuntu 22.10. So two Ubuntu containers plus one Fedora container is uh, working on the Arch base. So Arch is the base on the underlying system, Linux distribution. It is the default Linux distribution that is uh, uh, in the Blend OS. So now let us go ahead. And you have got this flat hub store so you can directly install any of the applications from the flat hub store but mind well you cannot uninstall them if you want to uninstall any of the flat packs you will have to use the command line interface so we will check that, that also out next and you can install the blend os uh, any desktop on blend os using this command from the terminal that is blend install dash de gnome and you can uh, re replace this gnome with any of the desktops you want to install so the this command will basically install the desktop from the blend os that is the arch os and if you want to install from the fedora or ubuntu you have to uh, add the suffix 
dash dash distro name so the distro name you can add as ubuntu 22.10 22.04 or you can add fedora dash raw add so that also we will uh, do uh, practical here and then uh, then we will go ahead and if you want to update the blend os you have to use this blend system dash update if you use pacman dash syu it will just going to update the arch base but if you want to do update update of the blend os you will have, you will have to use this blend system dash update okay now we can start using the blend os so what i will do is i will not close this down we can go back and check uh, the different commands so let us first try to do an update of the system let us see if we can if there are some updates available okay blend space system dash update in input your password so before uh, doing the update it is disabling the immunity you must be thinking why it is disabling the immutability because it will now disable the immunity so the file system has changed the modes by default it is read only now it has become uh, writable so the uh, file system protection has been disabled by the uh, system itself using the system privileges user cannot disable this so here you can see there are some four packages for update so we will uh, say yes and confirm the update there was some errors in uh, retrieving the file core db extra db so databases did not uh, sync properly so what we will do is the installation has been done and you can see here the immunity has been enabled again so what we will do is we will run the update again maybe this time the databases will properly sync no again there is some error ok so this rsync uh, protocol has been disabled in the li curl library so it cannot go and fetch the addresses the so curl is for fetching the web addresses so that is disabled i don't know why or there is some be just because this is a virtual machine this is happening i don't know you can try it on your system and if we go and visit the community page of blenders we might find a solution for this issue so now what we will do is we will go ahead we have updated the system four packages were updated now let us try to install the desktop or what we do let let me check okay what we do is let us install uh, let us install one uh, telegram app from the flat pack store so it is opening this so if you want to install the flat pack i think on the fedora rawhide you will have to use the fedora setting if you want to install a flat pack app in the ubuntu container you will have to use the uh, settings for the ubuntu uh, distro now we will install this flat pack in the arch or the blend os default uh, system so we will use the arch settings so where is the arch setting yes this is the arch setting so what we will do is we will have to run this command sudo pacman slash s fat pack so here you can see it is creating a container arch ok so even the arch is containerized so now i got it the base system the base file system is uh, immutable 
that is uh, based on arch and you have got the arch container uh, running on the top of the base system of blend os that is uh, arch itself and if you install the flat pack in fedora rawhide right, or the ubuntu uh, rolling or the ubuntu stable lts you will uh, create the corresponding containers for each of those systems which you have chosen so this is very great you can see the arch is automatically created in blend os beautiful so this is the greatest as in very unique operating system no other operating systems has this functionality so another uh, uh, good reason for the uh, container using containerized system is that your apps uh, are more secure so your apps will not interfere with other apps so the fedora apps will not interfere with the arch apps arch apps will not uh, interfere with the ubuntu apps so there will be no mesh, uh, mess up of the configs and other uh, uh, system settings and your system will stay stable because it has it is it is working only in the read uh, read, read only mode so the base will remain fixed and whatever changes you will do it will be done in the container so if there is a issue you can roll back all the changes and you can just destroy the container and recreate a container and you are ready to go and uh, uh, do your work again on the system so here you can see once the container is done it has started the updates so the arch container is started to getting the updates and here you can see the uh, repos are getting uh, synced properly so now i understood what it is the base system when we did the blend os system update only the base system got updates so there are just four packages for updates so it is going to be very stable only the necessary updates will come to the blend os meanwhile the arch container running on blend os will get the latest updates and you can use it for your daily work so all your daily work you can do in the containers and while the base system will remain super stable because it is working only in the read only mode so here you can see a beautiful we must give full marks to rudra saraswat to create this beautiful system okay so the arch container is created it is updated and we can uh, also install flat packs because the flat pack has already also been installed during the update so what we will do is i will uh, close this and we will do a restart of the system or maybe we can directly start installing let us see if we can install so how to install just a moment we will again go back to the store let us browse the apps let us check out the uh, telegram app let me see yes the telegram desktop is there let us try to install it let us see if it installs or we require a reboot of the system and the installer you can see here it is using this sock installer so i will show you what is sock is sock is this installer so just like the gdb in debian or ubuntu where you can install the dot deb packages 
this uh, blend os is using sock installer so sock will run in the background to install any of the apps yes now I think, yes it is ready to install it is showing us uh, that telegram desktop version 4.5.3 is there for installation so we can just install no need of uh, no need of reboot you can install the telegram right uh, away as a flat pack in the arch uh, container but now you will think why it will direct go and install in the arch container because you see you have installed the flat pack uh, configuration for the arch operating system and we have got this arch container so it will directly go in the arch container and install itself it will not go and install in ubuntu or fedora container because ubuntu and fedora containers are not there we are not initialize the containers we are not install those containers so when we will install some desktop in the next video or in this same video we can go and install the desktop from any of this uh, operating system then during those installation it will automatically create first the container and then it will install the desktop so we will do that maybe uh, we can do it in the next video so uh, after the telegram desktop is installed i will stop the video and in the next video we will uh, do the desktop installation so we will get a good idea how this blend os works how the containers work how the containers are created how the apps are installed in the containers Okay, so the telegram desktop is successfully installed. What we will do is let us check whether the telegram desktop can be found. Yes, it is there. So this telegram application is installed in the arch container. So I think this is the arch container. So this is the symbol for the arch container. Let us see what happens when we click it. Yes, so this uh, terminal is opening in the arch container. So whatever you do uh, in this terminal, it will be applied to the arch container. So this is the terminal for the arch container beautiful i like really like this system it is very thoughtfully done so what we will do is i will stop the video here see you in the next video where we will do uh, the installation of desktop on the fedora rawhead so see you bye bye